matter how you got here or how long you plan to stay, you have certain rights. You have the right to be safe and in a healthy workplace and the right to a legal wage. We gather here today to strengthen our shared commitment to protect the labor rights of migrant workers in the United States. Unfortunately, due to language barriers and immigration status, migrant workers can be those that are most vulnerably abused. We're committed to ending that abuse. And in a few moments, we'll sign new partnerships between the Department of Labor and the embassies of Costa Rica, the Dominican Republic, and El Salvador. These are pledges between our governments to work together to educate migrant workers about their labor rights and prevent abuses in the workplace. During the past year, we've signed similar agreements with the embassies, and I'm very proud of this, the embassies of Mexico, Nicaragua, and Guatemala. And going forward, we'll be pursuing accords with governments from Southeast Asia and others in the Caribbean, wanting to educate and protect those most vulnerable workers that live and reside in this country. We understand that many migrant workers in America are afraid to report mistreatment because it can lead to more abuse, the loss of job, a job or deportation. With these partnerships, we seek to remove those fears. Both um, documented and undocumented workers will be protected under U.S. labor laws. It has always been the case under previous Republican as well as Democratic administrations. All we're doing is enforcing the law and we're allowing for other individual groups and partnerships with other consulate offices to work with us in expanding our reach and information. What we're trying to avoid is that vulnerable communities be abused and that there be an increase in more underground activity, uh, an economic activity that goes untapped. Those monies that, that are being paid to workers, in some cases taxes aren't being appropriately paid, those taxes should go into our treasury. And if everyone is brought out of the shadow in that manner, then we'll have more assistance to protect people. We'll have better competitive businesses. It's not fair for businesses who come into this country or, or are working in this country now and abuse workers. So we're trying to rectify that. And with that, we hope that there will be more, more awareness and there'll be better, uh, how could I say, uh, policies and documentation that can counter all the negativity that we're seeing occurring when we're seeing a downturn in our economy. That's when most vulnerable workers are abused, when there is a downturn in the economy. How, how much